Every year, throngs of industry insiders swarm Las Vegas to explore the future of consumer electronics at the annual CES show. After almost a decade of attending the largest electronics trade show, I've developed a pretty good track record of being able to tell the hype from the real growing buzz. So this year, there's real change on the horizon, a change that's bound to find its way into your living room, driveway and even pocket in the year ahead. Automotive CES is now so auto-centric that insiders now call it the Car Electronics Show. And one thing is certain, in 2017 self-driving cars will be everywhere. With news from players including BMW, Ford, Toyota, Fiat, Chrysler, Nissan and Hyundai. There will be a flood of new driverless information coming out of CES. Uber has self-driving cars already on the road, and Apple and Google are in the race as well. As more vehicles have cellular data connections, expect to see more gadgets and software tied to the connected car. Drones Chinese drone maker DJI is zooming ahead of the pack right now. But the drone space is expanding, and the uses of drones is growing as well. From criminal observation to high-speed racing, to drone package delivery, to drones for industrial and farming use, drones of all shapes and sizes will be on display. At last year's CES keynote, Intel demoed its new Aero line of drones. Today, those Aero drones are being used at Disney World to light the night sky. Expect drones' growth in entertainment and cinematography to be very much on display virtual and augmented reality, in 2016. I thought the cool stuff on the show floor would be front and center at the Christmas selling season. Turns out, not so much. Yes, Samsung sold a bunch of its $99 low-end goggles. But the high-end devices didn't quite catch fire. So this year, the hype may be down a bit. Oculus isn't going to be on the show floor. HTC is going to be there, but it's unclear when the Vive headset will be updated or if there will be new product announcements at CES. Augmented reality could jump ahead this year. With Microsoft HoloLens and Meta's augmented reality lenses making noise, though Magic Leap remains elusive, voice assistants. Amazon Echo is the early leader in the voice assistant category. But Apple, Siri and Google Home are working hard to get ahead. Apple and Google don't exhibit at CES, go figure. But Samsung is a big CES exhibitor. And they certainly will be showing off home automation and smart home tech. Will this be the year of the long but evasive promises about the connected kitchen? We shall see. Strange stuff, there will be plenty of big companies and big announcements at CES. But some of the most interesting and unusual things will happen around the edges. For example, brush a new smart toothbrush. Visitors will be able to experience the gaming toothbrush. A smart sonic toothbrush targeted for children 3 to 7 years of age. Yep, a gaming toothbrush. Then there's the drone rodeo, billed as the premier drone industry event at CES. The Drone Rodeo brings media together with drone manufacturers, race pilots and accessory makers to fly drones in their natural habitat, wide open spaces. Flying inside a cage at the convention center doesn't show off the true power of a drone. And air space around the convention center is restricted, says Matt Sloan. CEO of Atlanta Drone Group and executive producer of the Drone Rodeo. This year's rodeo takes place at the Aerodrome, the world's first commercial drone port located in Boulder City, just outside the restricted airspace around Las Vegas. Free shuttle buses will be provided. Finally, what CES would be complete without an offering in toilet tech? Toto continues to take technology in the bathroom to new levels with their leading innovative product design, including a smart toilet that cleans itself using athlete cleansing. 
technology, water-saving innovations such as the Aero Shower Head and proprietary high-efficiency tornado dual flush system and an environmentally friendly design that eliminates paper and chemical waste. How, might you ask? Well, for the answer, you'll need to visit Toto at CES in Las Vegas.